I've got the uh, cutting bit a little bit high because I've got I, I don't have a lot of clearance on the bottom of that and it's it's cut away quite a bit I've ground that bit many times it's just it works so I did it's a it's a little angle there above center line so that I have clearance and if you was if you was looking straight down on it here, I have it at an angle enough right there to where that this side clearance right here will not hit the material. If it does, I'll make adjustment. So and and the depth of cut is one half inch. So I just bring that bit up to rotate that to where it just probably kisses the edge of that. And this is not a precision cut even though I do want it to be good. So what I'm going to do, this this ruler happens to be one half inch wide. So I'm just going to lay it right in there and take the pencil and I'm going to make a mark on the lathe bed. That's that's one inch, that's a half inch mark. When I traverse the 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 cross slide up there, when it when that when that comes up to that right there that'll be a half inch within a few thousands within a few thousands okay let's make us a cut a little cutting oil and we want to get back in there take a we want we want to get us a feel to where we at oh yeah that's a nice cut right there Yeah. Okay. Now I'm watching my mark on the lathe bed. And I want a good cut, so I'm going to I'm going to bring out and remove. Okay, let's go again. Now I'm, I'm observing that the tool bit does not make contact with the inside board. Okay. Okay, now that right there is going to be one half inch deep. So let's come all the way back out. We're not going to move no adjustments, but let's see, can we get us a... Yeah, I hate to move that over there because I know where I'm at, but let's see, maybe... Can we get that? Uh, let's move it. We can always come back. I just kind of to check our depth for curiosity. Cause we still got a mark there, so we know where we can come back to. Zero. Using the depth part of it, and bring that up like that right there. Okay, now let's see what we got. Okay, that that is, can y'all see that? It's pulsating back between 500 thousandths and 499.5. 5. 500, okay, it, it's, uh, it's locked in on 500 thousandths. Now that's going, that's 499.5. So that's a half a thousandth less because it's it's pulsating. Okay, um, and that was cutting to a pencil mark. You know, uh, check yourself and then do things like this right here. To uh, if if I wasn't talking here, I would done have this done. Now now I'll make my the rest of my cuts uh, up to that line right there and feel confident that I'm at a half an inch deep. Let's get to, let's get on with the show. Drill bit, uh, two bit looks good, and that was a freehand grind on that on that bit right there. And like I say, I want to clean that up. And and what I will do is when I when I get to the sixty thousandths wall thickness, then what I'll do. While I'm at the, at the bottom end of it, I will traverse the table backwards 
and make just a skim cut and that will flatten up the bottom of that cut. Not that it needs to be exactly flat because the spring fits on it, but to be precision, it needs to be within a half a thousandth. Okay, let's make us a cut. Okay, see, that's not deep enough, so let's, uh, and also, too, uh, that, that would have been a bad way to cut because I, what I've done is, in order to keep the, uh, I want to make the cut come, I want to make the tension come in this way to keep any play that I have in the, uh, okay, I want it to be in tension this way. Don't want to have any slack in the uh, cross slide. Okay, I'm within about 75% uh, deep, so let's uh, let's clean that up and finish the cut. Observing the pencil mark. Also, at this point. At this point, you can you can tell you can know when you're at the bottom of that cut because you, you it will be a different sound. And I like about uh, well, it's uh, it's not enough. And and just kind of up to now, we just visualize that sixty. an aggressive cut right there. There may be some camera angle where it appears that I'm quite close to things here. But if you was here with me, you would know that uh, there's there's plenty of distances in here. Uh, the wall thickness. It, the uh, 60 thousandths, and if you go down here and you set this on 60 thousandths, Lock it in. Okay, kind of get a visual on how much that is on sixty thousandths, and and kind of visualize the end of it, how much you've got to remove. Okay, we we didn't we didn't make no measurement just yet. That was a lighter cut, so I went all the way to the bottom end on that cut. Okay, now let's get us a measurement, because at this point we do not want to spoil the work. Okay, we're, we have 70 thousandths, so I need to remove 10 more thousandths. But before I remove that 10 thousandths, this is the spring that's going to be in that, so I'm going to try it. Okay, that's a really good fit. That, that's a really, really good fit. So I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop there and let that be my number. I'm going to change. I'm going to change that wall thickness from sixty thousandths to seventy thousandths on my print over here. Because that's 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 a really really good fit right there. 
Okay, I'm going to take it out and look at our seat. And y'all, y'all can't see that, but uh, oh, that's good. Now the way this works, this this spring goes down in there, and then this shaft would go through there. That's the way. That's the top half of that. Now we have to build the bottom half, and this will be a little bit stronger with the thicker wall, thicker. support there. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, let's uh, turn it around and proceed with the other end.